it. Um, I need you guys to um, do me a favor. Make sure you go over to youtube.com slash unthird movement and then like, um, li um, not like, I'm sorry, that's Facebook. But subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow the channel. And check out some of the videos that we have for you guys. We have a lot of videos. I think it's like, I think it was at 441 or like that, 441 videos. And, and in the beginning, I'm going to tell you, they they kind of hard because my technology and equipment wasn't there. But over time, they get better. And you can find some really good stuff, man. It's not about, with Christianity, it can't be about, it can't be about, it, it has to be about the message. If it's not about the message, then I think we're we, we in it or we'd be looking for the wrong thing. When you come to Unthird um Movement, it's about the message. I want to give you an authentic message. I want the message to be authentically Christ. I want you to be able to grow. That's 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 my first that's my first thing when I, when I when I'm doing the video the first thing I'm thinking okay this is going to help people get closer to the father it's going to help people find salvation it's going to help people grow that's 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 what it's about those three things right there and if you come in because of the if you come into the ministry and you're not staying because of the equipment not good <clears throat> you know how many small churches I've went through to that the equipment was so horrible, but the worship was so amazing. You know, that the word was so horrible, and but the I mean the word was so good, but the equipment was so horrible. All kinds of static, but the word was just amazing, just rebuilding. And and that's what we that's what we striving for here. Now, we're not gonna be this way always. We we want to grow. We want to put the best quality. Um, ministry work out there we don't want to we, we, we want to make sure you have the best but until we do that I, you just have to understand that it, it, look at the heart right look look past the little the little mishaps in the uh in the equipment and, and just look at the heart that's what god does anyways you know what you know what i love about god and you can find this in the um story of david matter of fact just to plug some more stuff, um, we're doing the Bible studies every Wednesday and Friday. Um, you can go past um, the Bible study. You can go um, to the Bible study um, that we did the last few weeks, and you can hear the story of David. And, you, and especially, um, check out the Bible study, First Samuel sixteen, no seventeen, no First Samuel sixteen, First Samuel sixteen. God sends Samuel to. Jesse house. Jesse is the father of David. Jesse had other uh, other other boys, and Samuel went to because God said, you know what? I have a new king. Saul is not doing what I need him to do. Uh, he's not um, where I want him to be. So I need a new king. So God sends um, 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 Saul to, to to Jesse, which he already picked the boy. When when Saul told told Jesse that one of his sons was going to be king, he went and got his best sons. He went and got the strongest, the ones that looked the best, the ones that was, I, I don't know, maybe smarter or whatever. But God said, I don't look at that. I look at the heart. And if we, if we look at the heart of David, David was a, we know that David was called to be a man after God's own heart. But David was faithful. He trusted God, right? A lot of times today we speaking our we picking our spiritual leaders over people who are qualified by man, and man qualifications is always on the outer. He looks good. His equipment is the greatest. His his this uh, her dad is the uh, no. Let's look at the heart, right? Let's look at the, the the people with the heart for God, not people that can wax elegant, not people that can talk and speak elegant. But people that are that are that are that are that has the heart of God. I'm gonna tell you one thing that we're struggling with Christianity with a lot of our leaders is we follow in people that are not qualified by God. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. We're following the people that's not qualified God in the <clears throat> excuse me, and they throw the scripture um touch thy not uh, touch not our uh, that, touch not his anointing or his anointed. But they're not anointed because they hold a title. A title doesn't make you anointed anymore. Simply just because you got university now, school. You got college now where you can go and get a degree. And now you're anointed just because you got that degree to go teach. Because you learned from man. You know, you learned from man the, the, the Bible. 
and we and we throw those and we throw those people. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I had a peanut I had a couple peanut butter sandwiches before I started. They're coming back on me. No, but we throw those people that 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 really get into the word of God, that really get in the relationship with Jesus, that really suffers with Jesus or in Jesus. And we, we look at those people and throw them away because they 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 suffer. They 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 they, they don't they, they don't look how they look when they come out of uh, um um university. Right? They 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 look like oh man he ain't got no degree. Uh, what do you know? I seen this cat struggle. I seen this cat, cat suffer. How are you gonna tell me about God and them be the ones that need to tell you about God? Listen, I'm I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not here to say anything about myself. I don't like tooting my own horn. But I'm gonna say this. I truly believe that if you get into the Father, if you truly get into the Father, you're gonna have everything you need. You may, listen. You may be just um, starting out, just in in Christianity. I don't know. You may be 16 or you may be 65, just starting out in Christianity. The thing that I can tell you is three things. Make sure your Bible becomes your best friend. When I say that, I mean like you make sure that Bible is everywhere you are. Or if the Bible is not everywhere you are, make sure your phone has the Bible so you can always get a chance to get into the Bible. When you're discouraged, you get into the Bible. When you're excited, you get into the Bible. <laughs> when you're bored, you get into the Bible. When you have too much to do, you make time for the Bible. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is keep yourself surrounded by the Word of God. I'm talking about from music to 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 what you listen to talk block talk or whatever you listen to make sure it's it's the word of God you know what I mean like like seriously when I when I first when I first started man I didn't have a lot of people around me that was godly um I came I I I, 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 I when I went to college man I, I had Christ when I was in high school I had Christ and I believe in Christ but I played football, sports, and, and, and nobody on my team was, was on that level with me. So it was a lot of times I was lonely in the Bible. I lonely listening to my gospel music. I lonely listening to sermons. Um, I remember when college, the same thing. I was trying to fit in in places I shouldn't fit in. And then I got to myself and really started going to Bible. I remember going to Bible studies and the crew that I was with. Uh, was laugh was was pointing and laughing at me in Bible study because I was trying to get closer and they didn't mean nothing about it. They were like, "This fool is in, in Bible study. What's wrong with this man? You know, you're too young for that." Like <laughs> that's the mindset of people around me. But I said, you know what? I I I, I gotta get right. But it, it wasn't even about. I didn't even know. It. I didn't even, listen when I was um when I was young when I was in high school and and, 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 and college. I, I, two things were in my mind. I was either gonna be a football player. I was going to be a football coach. Those two things were in my mind. Being a pastor or preaching the word of God was not there. And just so happened that I felt, well, let, let me rewind that. When I was young, I remember when I was young and I got baptized. I was around like 8, 9, 10 years old. And I said I wanted to be a pastor, <laughs> but I also wanted to be an R&B singer. <laughs> I wanted to be a lot of stuff back then. I wanted to be a dinosaur. I wanted to be a fire truck. <laughs> But I said I wanted to be a pastor and everything, and um, I, I I was on that pastor thing hard for like man, like maybe four or five years. I want to be a pastor. Now I remember my mom telling me, "If you want to be a pastor, you can't." She was using it <laughs> to to make me behave better. <laughs> if you want to be a pastor, you can't do this. If you pastors don't do that. <laughs> but 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 getting back to to, to the story, you know, I I wanted to. I, I didn't want to. I, I, as I got older and I got closer, I wanted to be a teacher. Um, and, and coach football when I left college. That's, that was what I wanted to do. I started coaching football and started teaching. And it wasn't comfortable. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't what I really wanted to do. It was something that was like noble to do, right? And I remember teaching, coaching football, and trying to, um, and I was a deacon in my church, a junior deacon to a deacon in my church. church. I went from a junior deacon to a deacon. I was a grown, I was like, dang, 20 years old, 21 years old as a junior deacon. <laughs> I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but that's how I did it. I, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> but but I, I said, you know what? Um, I, I kept the word around me. I kept his word around me. If I was driving to 
to football practice, I was listening to a sermon or listening to um, gospel music. If I was at a break in school while the kids was at lunch or something, I was I was listening to gospel music. When it was PE, I was listening to gospel music to listen to a sermon. And I kept the word around me, and the word was building me without me even knowing it because it was the word of God, and that's what it does. So the first thing I tell you, if you're young in the word and you really want to pursue um Pursue Christ. Not even you don't even know if you want to be a teacher yet. You don't even know if you want to be a pastor or a disciple or a discipler yet. Um, just keep 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 your Bible. Make that make that thing is your Bible should be raggedy. <laughs> like you should that that Bible unless you have a tablet or something like that. Then you know that should be your that should be one of the most thing the most app you use is that that Bible to keep the word around you. Right, just keep it around you. And three. Prayer life. You have to have the prayer life. You have to have the prayer life. I'm telling you, man. People people get caught up in this world today and and don't have that prayer life that we used to have. We just we just don't. And, and I think that's what we need to. Even I'm telling you this, and I struggle because like what, like I want to, I want to make sure I'm I'm, I'm 24 seven with God in prayer. Right? Where is a state of just always in prayer, and and that's my standard. I may not be there, but that's my standard, and and that's what your standard should be. This is this is our holy father, right? Like like I I and I do like they get they they get their woman and and, and 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 they just love to be with their woman, and some women that they they, they they friendship and they just love being with their man. They every chance they get, they want to be with they they want to be with each other, they want to be with their wife, they want to be with their husband, and and that's what we should be. As the same way as we should be with God. We should want to be with the Father. We should want to talk to the Father. We should want to to be in relationship with the Father. We shouldn't go to God just when we make mistakes. We shouldn't go to God just, just, I mean, it should be always when we're with the Father. Always. So those three things right there, I just, I, I just say, you know, that relationship through prayer the, the the relationship through the word always been surrounded by the word music or whatever, and then the relationship with with with, 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 with the Bible just with God through the Bible. Those three ways we can really, really, really find ourselves getting closer and closer with the Father.